Hi, it's Chester from Blue Pecan Computer Training. Uh, we're going to look at removing the underline that appears on a hyperlink uh, within a slide. So say I've got slide 2 here and I want to link to slide 3. Maybe I'm linking to a custom show or something like that. So if I was to highlight that text and I insert a hyperlink to slide 3, you can see it gets this little underline. Uh, now you may, for one reason or one or another, want to actually uh, hide that underline so it's not so obvious it's a link. Um, several ways you could do it. First way is if you've got a kind of solid colour background, so we've got a white background here, what we can do is just change the colour of the underline on the text to that background colour. So that would be fairly easy. We just go up to Home, Font, Underline, Style, Solid, Underline, White disappeared. If you want to change the actual colour of the text, because it's normally a slightly different colour to the normal text, uh, what you can do, you don't even need to select, in fact, you can go up to design and then in this kind of theme variants um, menu, yeah, we go to variants here, there's colours and then if we go to custom colours, can you see down here you've got this hyperlink option so let's just have them both as black. Okay, so even if I visit that link, it'll stay black. So it's not very obvious that it is in fact a hyperlink. Now what if I had completely different kind of background colour? Now it's going to be hard to, well, almost impossible to match the kind of uh, shading that's going on here in the background. So the hyperlink is going to be visible. So what I'm going to do is use a slightly different method. Let's just undo all the work that we've done so far. And I'm going to reapply one of these um, designs in the background. Here we are. Now, what I suggest you actually do is don't apply a hyperlink to the text at all in this scenario, because it will put an underline on it. Uh, whichever way you do it. What we're actually going to do is insert an object over the, over the text. So if I go to insert shapes and then just choose that rectangle tool, I'm just going to draw a rectangle over that object. Now what I want to do is make that invisible. Well actually first of all we're going to insert a hyperlink. So with that shape selected I go to insert hyperlink and I can choose to hyperlink to slide 3. So now I can make it invisible. So what I would do is I'd go up to my Formats tab. I'd change the Shape Fill to No Fill. Change Shape, uh, so the, the outline as well. We need to change to No Outline. So it's invisible, but it acts as a hyperlink. OK, so two ways of practically doing the same thing. One way, if you've got a kind of more elaborate background. The first wave is just a solid colour, just a matter of changing the underlying colour. Okay, thank you very much.